it is the 5th of April. The last person beside myself has just left the studio for the evening, so I'm now here alone. And tomorrow is the last day that most of us will be in studio before the Easter holidays. So I'm gonna set up an Easter egg hunt. No one knows I'm doing this. No one told me to do this. I'm just gonna hide some eggs around the studio. There's a good chance that some of them won't ever be found. I think the trick is to start with ones that are pretty easy to spot so that people know something's up when they get into work tomorrow. And then you gotta hide some really deep cut ones that could possibly last into next week. Oh, <laughs> oh that's just gone. There we go, it's in the shredder now. Ah, oh, Barbie. Oh. Ah, scorpion Barbie. There you are. All right, 15 eggs successfully hidden. And it starts right here. So the first person who comes in, they turn on the light, they immediately know something's up and they think, ah, the game is afoot. And I will show you where those are right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14. 15. <laughs> Let the games begin. And uh, what are you doing? I'm finding a little bowl. For what? For an Easter egg hunt. I just have my hands. <laughs> <laughs> These are egg carrying hands. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! go! <laughs> oh, Sharp and pointy. Elusive last egg. The last egg. I think it's Quill. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think it's Quill. Well done, everyone. Happy Easter. It is Easter Sunday tomorrow, and I'm going to Guildford to visit Amy, and we're going to have an Easter lunch. And I am going to bring, in lieu of, say, traditional Easter eggs, I don't know what adults take to lunches. I'm going to bake lemon bars. These, this is just lemons, there is a bar element also. I last baked these during lockdown in 2020, which is insane because that was a while ago and these are delicious. And I first baked them in 2017 when I went to visit my mum in New Zealand. So this is her recipe. So I have literally watched the episode of Little Moments where we first made the lemon bars in, in New Zealand with my mum, just so I could refresh my memory. I do also have the recipe. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. I already know I have too many lemons, but ones in case I fancy a special little drink later. I need a zester. So that is half a pound of butter. Add to that half a cup of sugar. This is a really silly way of doing it. That's, I mean, that's half of half a cup. He yeah. Okay, well, it's not fluffy, but it's definitely not the texture of butter and sugar individually anymore. To that, we're gonna add two cups of flour. So this is for the base, and I think what essentially we're making is a very rudimentary kind of shortbread. That's not nearly full enough. See, one big shortbread that I've just pressed into the bottom of a pan, and I'm gonna cook that or bake that, I guess, for, I think it was 15 minutes. Now we're gonna do the filling. Six large eggs, a completely unhinged three cups of sugar. Ooh boy, that's what that looks like. The lemon juice of six lemons, the lemon zest of presumably the same six lemons, unless you're feeling especially quirky. And after all that, a mere <laughs> single cup of flour. And then you just stir it. And after much whisking, what we should have is a lovely lemon custard. Ooh. It got dark outside, but look, lemon bars. Under the spotlight, lemon bars. Leave him alone, he's having a lovely time. <laughs> oh no, not quite done. <laughs> Goodness me. Savage. <laughs> I'm like, even though, oh hi. <laughs> We're having a little, well, it's a bank holiday Monday and we thought let's have a little reading day and it's turned into let's have a little writing day. So Dan is writing his next video. It's all about how, um, audiences are ruining theatre. So if you haven't watched it yet, um, <laughs> it's already been out a month and click the link in the card. Um, I am, uh, I don't think that's how, 
I don't think that's how annotations work anymore. Uh, and I'm subtitling little moments that hopefully you've already watched, but if not, here's the card for that. That's too many cards. Oh, <laughs> look. Are you going to play D&D, &D, Dexter? Just wants to be included. What's his character? No barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> Dexter, roll for anything. Ready? Eleven. 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 Anything? My hair is pink now. Finally bleached my roots again. Uh, not that you can tell, because there's pink over it. Because my hair was so yellow, underneath it though, it's kind of gone highlighter pink. Like, I've somehow managed to make my hair fluorescent. I thought I was going to stay blonde for as long as I possibly could, because it damages my hair so much to get it there in the first place. But... I'm going on holiday tomorrow. And I want to have nice, bright pink holiday hair. It's me, Charlie, Tom, and Sophie, and we're going to Disney World. I'm very excited. It doesn't feel real. It's been such a hectic uh, three, four, five weeks at work and just in life. Oh, the boiler's fixed now, by the way, if that was something you were worried about. So yeah, it's just after six o'clock here in the studio and I'm about to set my status on Slack as being on vacation. <laughs> and that's very, very exciting for some reason. Yes. Yes. Oh my god, why is that there? Oh dear. <laughs> I know, I know you're sad and anxious, but I need to put things in there. It's alright. I know, but you'll be okay. So we got off the plane, picked up our bags, got in an Uber, and got to the hotel. And here we are. And then I immediately crashed, and now it's another day. Our first day, in fact. I'm half Disney bounding. I've got like aerial ish get up. Let's get some magic. Let's get magical. The, ma the Magic Kingdom. <laughs> oh, you want a hanky? Yeah, yeah, bet. Uh, how about this hanky right here? I need some ibuprofen, but I need an entire packet. Well, I only have half a packet. <laughs> you taking a picture? Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god. Capitalism. <laughs> you ready? You ready? <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh great. There's a little lovely tree. Well, oh, Chloe, smash the shot. Oh. Awesome. It was around about here that I started to realize my family may have been lying to me. Oh boy. I remember being so much louder when I was a kid. That's a good dog. I think these are my favorite characters. That's there. I was lost here in 1998. I'm gonna guess that's before some of you were born. Tom, Charlie, and Sophie head out for the park for a hot sec. And I was like, um, I'm gonna opt to be in the park and also sit. It's weird trying to access memories from 25 years ago and be like, and now you're in physically that same space again. I have nothing profound to say. I'm just like, I'm just processing a lot right now. Had a little bit of a cry on my way in. That was good. I'm very happy to be here. And if it doesn't sound like I feel that way, it's be just because I'm very tired. Like, I can't bring the enthusiasm and the levity to my voice that I normally would because I am exhausted. And it's only four o'clock, but there we are. Tom forgot his camera and he's got a fancy shirt on. Tom, stop, stop. Hey, <laughs> are you ready to Kingdom of Animals? <laughs> That's a big tree. Big tree. Big tree. Yeah, all right. That's that's you. pretty cool. <laughs> Big family. I don't know for scale. Hey, okay, little guy. Just a little guy. Just a little guy in his enclosure. Oh my god. It's oh my god. It's Charlie and this guy. He good? 
Steve, wake up. Our guy is farting constantly. Yeah. No, I don't know him. I don't know who that is. Oh, wow. I'm very cool. I am just dark. There's another person there, but... <laughs> <laughs> there she is. Charlie too, maybe. <laughs> I can't tell. Turns out, A, the ride is called Flight of Passage. I know this now. B, we liked it so much, we're in the queue for it again. Here we go again. I came to Disneyland and I found the boba. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, wob wob. Really good. Wob wob. Oh, they're beautiful. And they spend most of their time in the water, so the fact that they're out of the water here playing to sea is a really good they're view so of They're so beautiful. There's another one in the water there on your left as well. Mermaid. Mermaid hippo. We should reach anywhere from 16 to 20 feet tall. That's good. Now the way you can identify the app. Hi. We all are on them rapids. This is the after. Huh? I think I narrowly avoided oh, most yeah, of the yeah. water. <laughs> Your son. My son! So cute. It's another very warm and sunny, beautiful day. And it looks great. Doesn't feel great. Wow, just like the real Hollywood. Today we're doing Hollywood Studios and it is all of the degrees at once. The whole lot. <laughs> Every single one of them. What's wild is that I have a photo of me and my brother climbing on this when we were kids. Guess that's not allowed anymore. Political critics gone mad, isn't it? Oh. It's woke nonsense. Oh dear. <laughs> Friday, over the uh, Editor Jason, uh, censor Tom when he does this. Oh my god, this is incredible. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Oh my god, it's my favorite rock. Oh yeah, oh she's going crazy mode. Charlie, no, Charlie, that adds to the queue time. <laughs> Oh, that's good. I thought you were taking a picture. Nope. <laughs> it's Kiki. Hi, friend. It was too hot at Disney. So, cool day. Stop. I will get an adult. <laughs> New towel reveal. It's a lickety mermaid. What do you want from me? Stop vlogging. Stop vlogging. It is 32 degrees today. Oh, it's a new day, by the way. It's 32 degrees today. We were gonna go to one of the water parks to do like, that's smart. Let's go to, let's go be in water. Obviously everyone else is gonna have the same idea. So instead we're in our hotel pool. <laughs> yeah, party lizard. <laughs> Um, you can't see me. We're on the Haunted Mansion. There's a good chance the ride is broken down. <laughs> wait, wait, there we go. It's a bit light. Oh, there we go. Can you see? Hi. Tom, who do you think the prettiest girl in school is? Monster Factory Epcot Edition. Make the worst car you can. <laughs> can you tell that we're artists? I want to make the most messed up car. <laughs> no middle sliders. Oh, hell yeah. That's that. <laughs> <laughs> That that? I think I prefer the little one. Little one? Yeah. We're gonna go for like a purple thing. Nah, I like that. Okay, wheels. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh! Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Let's ride. Mars Rover 2. <laughs> oh. There's our boy. Hey. <laughs> Is that good? I don't know if that's good. Oh god. <laughs> right there, Boo. Get it. He's bad at this. I'm glad they keep him contained. He can't get you, Tommy. He the can't hurt you. The fence is very much for our protection. Oh, we're home. <laughs> It's just like the real thing, guys. The traditional uh, right. sportsman shopping. Yeah, that's exactly what um, like it here. JD Sports looks like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ah, Paris. Talk. I know you can. Show me Raka. <laughs> yeah. Here they come. Oh. Love it. Judy Dench talking to me? Maybe. Judy Dench? That's Judy Dench. Judy! Judy! Hi, um, this has nothing to do with the ride we're on, it's just something that I thought of whilst we're on this ride that has nothing else going for it. The Disney World, in general, it's national treasure erasure, and I will not stand for it. We're in space! We usually put another room in. We enjoy more. New destination, I hate traveling. Very good. That's, that is delightful. <laughs> so sad. We made fun of the ride too much and it broke down. <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah, that's our loss. Sorry, Space Your Birth. The gates are connects. That's so cool. But I do want to unclip it. Here come them boys. Haven't we seen you assembling with resistance sympathizers? Not very convincing. <laughs> we'll be watching you. Oh, it's simply a little guy. Transmission for rain. Huh? Ah. Remember, it is vital that you keep the. <laughs> so, Rise of the Resistance is great. Yeah. Then it rains. <laughs> we are proud of our foundational wow. teacher. Thanks, Tom. Wow. Thanks, Tom. Wow. Wow. <laughs> 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 yeah. Get his ass. Get his ass. Oh hi friend. Oh hi friend. Oh, no, that's that's too close actually. You changed my mind about your proximity to me. I'm a Disney princess. <laughs> Is that tasty? Whoa. That's uh that's a bad looking sky right there. It, it, it happens, there is an absolute downpour uh, here at Animal Kingdom. Luckily we're in a queue for a ride, so we're kind of pretty well sheltered. The ride closed because of the rain. What? They're letting people through? Rainforest certainly feels very authentic now. Fun showing up. I bought it, so I'm using it. We'll check in where you guys are. Cool. Out. It won't take long. Yeah, I know. Have fun. <laughs> hey, friends. It's Kiki. Yeah, you did. Lots of little Kikis. Uh, it's 10 o'clock at night. A very, very cool thing happened today. I mean, a lot of very cool things happened today. Guardians of the Galaxy ride. For one, cool thunderstorm, drank a slushy, Tom punched some water. The particular other very, very cool thing that I wanted to talk about specifically in this moment whilst I'm having a bit of quiet downtime here in my hotel room at night with all this impeccable vocal fry is, well actually, let me, let me take you back a ways. Let's go back to March. It is the 15th of March, and I don't know if this clip is going to be in March Little Moments, so if it's a month other than the March Little Moments, 
Hi from the past. The reason why I might not be able to post this along with all the other clips that are for March, I don't know what I'm allowed to say yet, but I've... <laughs> I've been asked to design a poster for the McElroys. <laughs> More specifically, they saw one of my illustrations and then they liked it. Can we use this as one of the official tour posters? So that's my day. So that happened and then it didn't feel real. I designed the poster. I sent it off. The brothers did their show, I think about two weeks ago. I was like, that's a very cool thing that I got to do. And then Tom sent me a tweet this morning, this tweet to be exact, um, from my good friend Jake. And then I listened to the episode. I just wanted to say we have a lovely poster out there designed by Chloe Dungate that we are uh, huge fans of. We signed a bunch of them. So if there are any still out there after the show, you should um, <laughs> grab one. It's just a very cool thing. They shouted me out on their live show for the poster that I drew for them. It still doesn't feel real, but it feels even less real in this moment. Especially since I'm just like, I'm so, I'm so far removed <laughs> from my avatar. So I'm already in kind of like most magical place on earth state of mind and then it's just like oh here's also like this other dream that's coming true also dimension 20 retweeted me yesterday what's going on <laughs> go tom go get her but it's not just the lazy river that makes typhoon yeah, lagoon such a tranquil experience making my way downtown <laughs> walking <laughs> past faces <laughs> passing the homebound off you go <laughs> That's so smart. You ready, Sophie? What? <laughs> yeah, she's ready. Oh boy. It's probably fine. Yeah, it's probably fine. It's probably fine. I don't. Don't worry about it, Tom. Found him. <laughs> Chilling here on the lazy river. I got pretty bad and sunburn yesterday, hence this incredible get up. It's our last full day on the holiday. There's something that Tom mentioned uh, to us in person and probably has spoken about in this video as well. Didn't really hit me until I started watching some of this footage back, which is that I was lucky enough to be taken to Disney World as a child in 1998, so 25 years ago. And at the time, I was eight, my parents were very much in their thirties. In other words, um, my mum and dad took their two children to Disney World at roughly the same age that I am now. <laughs> The reason it hit me so hard is because I was thinking about footage of us on the high, specifically when we're on last year. And despite the fact that my mum made us our home videos from Florida on a mini DV camcorder in the 90s, and I'm filming on a fairly up to date smartphone here in the year 2023, the footage just looks the same. We just had that same home video quality to it. So, in many ways, my mum was the original vlogger of the family, which is pretty cool. It's weird because you watch those videos back and it's all really from her point of view. And I remember it most from her point of view. And she's barely in it because she's, she's always holding the camera. I think that's the difference that 25 years has made. So we now have some technology that I can... Hi, I'm in it. Yeah, it's it a strange time, I guess. The family traditions and how... This is my home video and how when it was my mum's home video and I'm in them little did I know that 25 years later I'll be I'll be taking up the mantle and going to the exact same place floating down the same lazy river with a different kind of family yeah well last day all packed up and ready to go our flight's at 8 o'clock at night that loud whirring you can hear is the aircon so we're gonna drop our luggage in storage for a little bit and go to Magic Kingdom. Save him! No! Oh, what do I do with this power? I finally control bees! It's shadow-based. Yeah. Shadow the hedgehog, that is. What? 
from Spider-Man. Oh, look at him guys. What? Oh god! Is that magical? So magical. Is have fun? And there it goes. Hi Castle. We may be back. Stop vlogging! Stop Get vlogging! A grip. Get a grip. Oh, grow up! We will be arriving at our destination in just a 